Five Amazing Things Science Has Just Discovered Hey folks, we've not done one of these videos in a while, so we've got several months of fascinating scientific progress to catch up on. For example, did you know that we've seen planets outside our galaxy? Were you aware that we've become able to grow human eggs? And have you noticed that it's raining viruses right now? No. Well, then sit back and relax as best you can, you virus slathered ignoramus, as we introduce you to five amazing things science has just discovered. Extragalactic planets. Take a look at this picture and feel instantly privileged to do so. For you are looking at the very first image ever taken of planets beyond the realms of our galaxy. Having already discovered 5,287 exoplanets within our Milky Way so far, it was always assumed that worlds outside our galaxy did indeed exist. An extragalactic planet was previously thought to have been seen in the Andromeda Galaxy back in 2009. But the existence of this world six times the size of Jupiter has never been confirmed. Whoever discovered that planet must be super narked right now, though, because Shin Yu Dai and Eduardo Garas have beaten them to it with proof in the form of their paper, Probing Extragalactic Planets Using Quasar Microlensing. Dai and Garas used the microlensing technique to view a region of space 3.8 billion light years away. Gravitational lensing uses light bent by the gravity of large cosmic objects to enlarge distant stars, galaxies, and worlds like a naturally occurring microscope. Microlensing works in reverse, using a bright background light to examine the lens object itself. In this instance, the light source was four quasars. You can see them in white in the image we showed you earlier. But it's the red dot in the middle that's the most intriguing for this is the lens galaxy. Analysis of data signatures from the galaxy have confirmed the existence of several individual worlds ranging in size from the Moon to Jupiter. But that's nothing. Within that small red dot that looks like a zit on the face of a shocked three-eyed ninja turtle, we believe there could be a number of planets in the order of trillions. How to grow a human Human eggs have been grown in the laboratory for the very first time by a group of researchers at the University of Edinburgh. However, these eggs weren't created out of nothing. They were removed from the ovary at the earliest stage of their development and grown in the laboratory until they were ready to meet Mr. Sperm for a hot date. The discovery that this is possible is crucial, as it will help women suffering from cancer who wish to store their eggs and have children after they've recovered. Many cancer treatments can seriously affect a woman's fertility, so patients will often have a piece of their ovary containing immature eggs removed beforehand, with the tissue reimplanted to allow the eggs to develop post-chemotherapy. Unfortunately, reimplanting this tissue risks reintroducing cancer to the patient, but now that we can mature a human egg in the lab, this risk is avoided. Damn, if we can only raise kids in the test tube once they've been born too, wouldn't that be glorious? Oh, what's that, little Timmy? You don't want to eat your mashed potato? Well, I guess it's off to the medical waste bin for you. It's raining viruses. If you're a germaphobe, look away now. Because no amount of hand washing will save you from this. Research conducted by an international team operating in the Sierra Nevada mountains of Spain have discovered that our planet is bombarded by trillions upon trillions of viruses every day. And we're not sure all of them are from Earth. In a study published in the International Society of Microbial Ecology Journal, researchers identified a region of sky where a stream of viruses encircles our planet. Based on the results collected by the team, it has been estimated that 800 million viruses fall upon each square meter of planet Earth every single day. So you know those times when you open your mouth to catch the raindrops? Yeah, that's right. You're slurping down millions upon millions of viral strains, Mmm, delicious. Many of these viruses are likely to be of terrestrial origin, having been swept up from the land or the ocean and those dodgy websites you visited after your antivirus ran out. But some researchers believe that a good proportion may have originated in the atmosphere, and others even claim that some viruses could have landed here from outer space. Either way, this discovery has shown us just how little we know about Earth's virosphere. 
and work is now underway to uncover just how much of life on Earth is regulated by this swarm of viral raindrops. How to transplant your meat and two veggies. Good news, Varys. There is hope for you at last. On the 26th of March, doctors at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore, Maryland, performed the world's first total transplant of a gentleman's wedding tackle. You'll notice we're using euphemisms here to describe the appendages involved. That's because YouTube is pretty prudish these days and won't let us use normal medical terms, so I'm afraid you'll have to bear with us. A team of 11 surgeons took 14 hours to complete the procedure, which resulted in the successful reattachment of the patient's heat-seeking moisture missile and his magic bag minus the beans, the beans having been discarded for ethical reasons. The organs were donated by a deceased individual, at least I hope he was deceased, to a former U.S. soldier injured in Afghanistan. Genital injuries are often referred to as an unspoken injury of war due to the stigma surrounding them. But now, thanks to the outstanding work of the Baltimore team, our servicemen need never fear losing their meat bayonet in the heat of battle ever again. Trapped on Super Earth Here on planet Earth, we take our weak gravity for granted. It allows us to fly kites, play ball sports, and blast off into the sky to travel across the world, and eventually maybe the cosmos too. But according to Sonneberg University's Michael Hipka, we may be the lucky ones because aliens living on worlds known as super-Earths may be trapped there permanently. In a paper published in April 2018, Hipka discussed how the extreme gravity present on super-Earths may prevent space exploration by intelligent beings born upon it. Super-Earths are giant versions of our own planet, and these worlds are thought to be abundant throughout the galaxy and more likely to be habitable than Earth-sized worlds due to their greater ability to hold on to an atmosphere. However, their gargantuan size comes at a cost. Hipka estimates that launching the equivalent of the James Webb Telescope off a super-Earth would require 60,000 tons of fuel. It'd be like firing a battleship into space. An Apollo mission would be even worse, requiring the use of 440,000 tons of rocket, a figure roughly equivalent to the mass of the Pyramid of Giza. This massive hurdle would delay a super-Earth civilization's invention of many important technologies, such as rocket warfare, space telescopes, and satellite television. Good luck getting your Spanish soap operas on super-Earth, Mom. And that's your lot, folks, unless you're one of our beloved Patreon subscribers, because those folks get to watch three bonus entries into this video, including the discovery of a new kind of light, a shocking theory about the climate of Europe and America, and evidence of a missing planet which once inhabited our solar system. Which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then that's bullshit. We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth, to give you that sense of awe and wonder again, to go past what you thought was the end, to give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. Chemicals of reality. Reality, consciousness, brains. What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, as one could enjoy it. Come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality visited by only a select few 
whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question from nearly every angle feasible. And in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video, Chemicals of Reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strange mysteries.